We're out here on the largest lake in the state of Florida. Thousands of species of fish and wildlife make this area their home. And I'm here to fish for the tastiest of them all, the crappie. Oh, 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 solid bite, solid bite. We found a honey hole, that's for sure. The whole house could burn down right now. Let's go. Oh, oh. Nice, got another crappie in the boat. All right, I believe this is actually a female crappie, but I caught a male crappie earlier that was very uh, dark colored and the females are much lighter and a very pretty fish. And we literally consider these fish the freshwater lobster of Lake Okeechobee. They're delicious to eat and the females get much bigger than this, but it's been a blast catching them on jigs. All right, just caught this fish a few minutes ago and you can see the coloration. This fish is much darker than the one I just caught. I believe this is a male, although in general, I know that the males are actually a smaller fish compared to the females. So I think I just got a small female here and a pretty big male. And this is the time of year we catch them in Florida. Oh, 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 solid bite, solid bite, solid bite. Get out of here, get out of here. Whew. Whew. <laughs> Yeah, back to back fishes. This looks like that's a male, much darker colored. They're the prettiest fish ever. Just look at those glistening colors, blues and greens and silvers. They're so cool. And this is the jig I'm using today. So far, that's crushing it. And uh, special thanks to Scott Donovan. We were out here a couple weeks ago and we failed to catch a ton of crappie, but I'm using the same lure color that uh, our friend Scott told us to use. Yeah, big shout out to Scott. This is actually our first time ever crappie fishing on our own. So we went to the Fast Break Tackle Shop, which is like the big place everybody goes here. And I actually met the guy, like the, I guess Fast Break Junior, I called him. I guess his dad owns the spot or whatever. He was so helpful, picked us out some gear. And, uh, but Sizzle, show him how you're actually doing the jig. Got a 10 foot rod so we can jig here. And I've got braid on here, green braid. So what I'm gonna do is, we look at the water depth and we're in about four and a half foot of water. So I have my jig tied on and I have it hanging down about four foot, maybe a little higher. Just basically you want it, your jig about a foot off the bottom. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my braided line and I'm pulling it to the side and I'm bringing my jig all the way to the tip of my rod. And then I'm just going into this really thick reeds and I'm getting down way low, putting my rod tip basically at the water level and then dropping the braid that's in my hand to let it sink to the bottom. So now it's just going to be a foot off the bottom and basically you're in a jig, very light jigs with your rod tip. Fish it for a few seconds, 20 seconds or so, and then move it on to the next area. And anywhere you see pockets of holes within the reeds, that's where you fish for the crappie. Oh! oh. Look at that crappie. Went through a little dry spell there of not catching a fish for a little bit. Well, we've just been bouncing around. That's all about fishing, even freshwater fishing on the lake. You just gotta keep moving spots. But you can see right there, he got hooked so well that he wasn't going anywhere. It's perfect jig hook set on that beautiful black crappie. That looks like another big male. Brian now needs to catch up. I have four fish in the boat and he has zero. Oh. Got him. Oh, it's a slab. Woo! Hey, that is a monster, dude. Duh, dude. That's my biggest. Hold that's on. my biggest. <laughs> Woo! That's a monster. We found a honey hole, that's for sure. Just missed a bite, put it back a little closer to the same hole. Instant hookup. This has got to be my personal best crappie. Uh, what's the other? Sakale, panfish. Speck. There's a million names in the world for this beautiful fish, and they, be, they can be found throughout the whole entire United States. Oh, oh, that was instant bite. Ooh, is that a... Whoa. I think it was pulling drag, I heard it. Whoa, dude. That is a freaking slab. Help me, help me. <gasps> <laughs> oh my golly. Sick. Dude, look at this beautiful fish. It literally pulled drag, I thought it was a bass. <laughs> Gorgeous. And this color mimics a freshwater shrimp, a shrimp that hangs out in this area and it's about that size. So beautiful. That's probably bigger than that last one, but it's still a solid fish, probably 14, 13, 14 inches long. 
Oh, I got one. Oh, babe, good job. Heck yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yay. You see how it just came right off? Popped right off. Woo. See, I told you you'd know when you get the bite. Yeah. I didn't wasn't filming, but the next cast, the next jig, I got another one. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how the fish are so keyed in on the lighter jigs. Crazy. So that was all the difference made was the weight of the jig. We went from 116th to 132nd. Back at the house, it's time to fillet up some delicious slabs live for you guys right now. One fish is kind of frozen, the other one is not so frozen, but even dead, these fish are really pretty. Look at all that green on them, he's just gorgeous. And their eyes look really cool too. Just a super cool fish that I don't get to catch enough of. So I'm actually excited to go back because now I have all this crappy gear to go catch these beautiful fish. Using my brand new Darcizzle fillet knife, very exciting. These are available for sale in stock right now. There's only a limited amount. So you guys jump on that if you're interested, it'll be down in the description below. And there'll be a promo code that you can use as well. You can see it's got my logo on it, and we're going to make quick work of this beautiful fish. This is the 6-inch fillet knife, and I also have a 8-inch knife, the curved or sizzle fillet knife. It's got a lot of flex to it, which is what I love. Get right down on those bones and fillet up this beautiful fish. Oh, cook, cooking with pudding is going to cook us up something delicious. You see, we're just going to go right over these rib cage bones. Now, if I had a bunch, a lot of people like to use um, a electric fillet knife, but really the regular fillet knife is gonna do a much better job and you're just gonna get right on top of those bones and get every inch of meat like we just did. Flip them over, do the same exact thing. And this knife is super sharp. Also, wanna quickly mention that I have a Valentine's sale going on on my website right now with uh, the sterling silver pendants that I have for your significant other, for your girlfriend, your wife, whoever is special in your life, 20% off on all sterling silver pendants. And I have a wide variety for you guys to choose from, from mahi to tarpon to redfish, beautiful sea turtles, all kinds of awesome stuff. I'm not really sure what that coloring is right there, but it's not gonna stop me from eating them. Go right over those pin bones. They just have a really, really wide rib cage. And this knife just flexes enough to where you can get right on those rib cage bones and just slab it off. Beautiful. That fish is done. I guess I cut a little further into the head and some goop came out of them there. But beautiful fish and it looks like it's not, that was a big male, no eggs. I don't see any eggs. Cause like I said, they spawn this time of year down here, coming to the shallows. All right, same exact knife, just like anything else. Get it right down, done. And then to remove pin bones, which is not a lot left, another trick is just go right in, just like so. And then skin them out and the pin bones should come right out because we just outlined it. So everything we just talked about, my awesome brand new knives, and the beautiful sterling silver pendant sale I have going on, which is a great deal, will be linked directly down below. No code needed. So look at that. We flayed up that beautiful fish in two seconds. That's a lot of meat for that crappie. So gonna finish up, fillet a couple more here, and then cook with pudding. It's gonna cook something delicious in the kitchen. Yeah, baby. What's up, guys? And thanks to our sizzle for Cleaning up those crappy that new knife. Come on in, Sizzle. I'm gonna get her in here a little bit as my Thanks. assistant. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to another episode of Cooking with Pudding. And I got some special treats for you. I'm cooking these crappy two ways. Now, what we did and what we usually do is check to see other social media: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even TikTok. And we put a post on there to see how you guys like to cook it. All right? Because we do it all different ways. And I told everyone not to say fried. <laughs> That's what everybody always says. Yes. And. But here's a couple of the, of the situations, all right? So, one was croutons as the, as the uh, breading and Miracle Whip, saltine crackers also. Just butter and salt and pepper in a pan. That is really, you can eat almost any fish like that and it's delicious. Salt and vinegar chips as the breading. Uh, marinate and Sprite and then do it. And then Darcy took their pick and she chose... Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes. So we're gonna fry it in a Frost flake batter, very simple. Just regular egg batter. You can see right here, I got some B-roll egg batter into the cost frosted flakes. And Did you then, season the 
I put a little salt and pepper on the fish, no big it's deal. It's going to be like sweet and salty, I'm thinking. Yeah, just, just on one side. Let me get it over here a little more so we can see the sizzle. Yeah, just on one side with the salt and pepper, okay? And so I'm just going to put this right in here. I got my heat whew, at approximately 375 degrees, maybe 400, whatever. So it's and going down quick, you're right. Yeah, it goes down right away. And the other way, guys, is several people said just to boil it in strips. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Oh. We don't want that to overflow. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Woo. I put this in here, so we'll go down less. All right. So that's it's only gonna take. Go ah! That's only gonna be a couple minutes. That's dangerous. Look how close that is. Dude, I'm getting back. If this is on a fire outside, cooking a turkey. The whole house could burn down right now. All right. We, we, we saved off another another catastrophe here. In here we go. <laughs> I didn't want to use the fryer because only a couple, you know, a little bit of fish. An tools. oil mess is a crazy mess. Oh yeah, we don't want that to happen. All right, so I'll turn this down a little bit, and okay, <laughs> back to the crappy. They said boil it, cut it in strips, and it's just like shrimp. So I got some boiling water here. I can't believe this is going to be true, but these are all going to be done in just a couple minutes, and then we're right back with a taste test. Twig. All right, guys, it's been like three minutes. Whoa. Trying to burn myself. Look at this. It looks really good. Yeah, yeah, looks really good. And of course, Lost we're gonna put it, it on a, I think I wish I like, I've never just thought of that before. And of course, we're gonna put Crazy. it on this little tray, which we can get at the Amazon store. Most of all the products you see in any one of our videos, they're gonna be in the Amazon store, also listed down in the description, guys. Yeah, yeah, guys. all right, so we got that. Including and put it in here. Yeah, everything's in there. And I think these shrimps, these <laughs> crappie shrimps are ready too. I need like a colander for this. <laughs> All right, that was super hot. We had to wait like five minutes for the cool down. And Still I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put on some lemon. Everything? Yeah, whatever, who cares? All right, Sizzle. First, we're gonna taste. I'm going for Frosted Flakes. Go ahead, Frosted Flakes. Go, 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 hot. Sound like a pig stuck in the mud over here. That is, um, it's really hot, but I blew on mine, so it's um, tastier. But definitely taste the, fr the Frosted Flakes, but not too much. You really taste the fish, mm -hmm. and it's uh, crunchy. I like the crunchiness to yeah, it. Yeah, it really adds a really great crunch. Mm. On the edges, where there's more cornflakes, it's really sweet and delicious. It's mm -hmm. really good. He's eating all the best parts right now. Yeah, eat the... I was, like, trying to eat those pieces. That's yeah. mine. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm, mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's mine. All right, yeah. let's try the shrimp now. All right, now for the shrimp. Came out like this. Whoa. Looks like kind of shrimpish. Yeah. A little cocktail sauce. A little right? cocktail sauce. Here we go. What do you think, Sizzle? I mean, I feel like the cocktail sauce makes it taste like. Yeah, it happens to a lot of fish. Yeah. But anyway, but it. It's good. It tastes like it's, it tastes delicious. It's just not as firm as shrimp. Yeah, it okay? doesn't have the texture of shrimp exactly. It, until our next one. Follow, Follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. And don't forget to check out Woo. this uh, next video if, if you don't mind.